today. Hi. Like, Hi. Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Happy birthday. Is that cool? Yep. Yeah. I know we have. Hi, Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Friday, May 27th, 2022. It was our Sycamore Red, White, and Blue Day, way to represent and honor those lives lost while defending our freedoms and welcome to this special Red, White, and Blue Day episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Cece. Hello all, happy Friday. Five more days of school remain. So excited, I'm Khadija. Now let's all stand in our Red, White, and Blue with Dorkin's class. Place our right hands over our heart to meaningful say the Pledge of Allegiance as the awesome community we all are. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. As you know, Memorial Day is this weekend where the United States of America remembers all those who lost their lives in the line of duty protecting us and our freedoms. Now, a short discovery video explaining the special day. In 1868, General John Alexander Logan, who led an organization of Union Civil War veterans, called for May 30th to become a national holiday for honoring soldiers who died in that conflict. After World War I, Decoration Day became known as Memorial Day. The observance expanded to include all service members who sacrificed their lives for the country, not just those from the American Civil War. In 1966, Congress and President Lyndon B. Johnson declared Waterloo, New York, the official birthplace of Memorial Day. Later, in 1971, Congress declared Memorial Day a national holiday, and in accordance with the Uniform Monday Holiday Bill, the holiday was moved to the last Monday in May. Today, the nation's capital holds the largest Memorial Day services. Each year, thousands gather in Washington, D.C. to watch and take part in the National Memorial Day Parade. At Arlington National Cemetery, a wreath-laying ceremony takes place at the Tomb of the Unknowns. And across the country, cemeteries are decorated with flowers, wreaths, and American flags. Citizens pay tribute by attending local parades, ceremonies, and speeches. Since Memorial Day takes place at the end of May, the weekend marks the unofficial beginning of summer. Aside from the traditional Memorial Day activities, families often spend the weekend hosting small outdoor gatherings and barbecues. Many take the extra time to enjoy leisure activities like shopping, day trips, and relaxing in the company of friends. High schools and colleges may hold graduation ceremonies over Memorial Day weekend. No matter how you choose to celebrate, it is important to remember that the purpose of Memorial Day is to honor the generations of men and women who have sacrificed their lives in the name of freedom. In honor of Memorial Day, here's some facts about Monday. Memorial Day began as Decoration Day. Decoration Day only recognized fallen soldiers of the Civil War until war World War I. Memorial Day was an not official holiday until 1968. Memorial Day is one of the few days flags are ordered to fly at half staff then full staff. It's, it, it's legally required to observe a national moment of remembrance. Waterloo, New York is considered the birthplace of Memorial Day. Okay, a message from our amazing Mrs. Spielman. Listen up. Yearbook distribution. Yearbooks will be distributed to all eighth grade to all students on eighth grade day, Thursday, June second. If you pre ordered a yearbook, you will receive it during first bell on June second. Please note there are some extra yearbooks available for purchase. Extra yearbooks are forty dollars cash or check rent to Sycamore Junior High. Extra yearbooks will be purchased from Mrs. Spielman in room 246 until June 3rd. In honor of Memorial Day, here's some facts about Monday. Memorial Day began as Decoration Day. Decoration Day was only recognized fall recognized Decoration Day only recognized fallen soldiers of the Civil War until war, World War I. Memorial Day was an not official holiday until 1968. Memorial Day is one of the few days flags are ordered to fly at half staff then full staff. It's, it, it's legally required to observe a national moment of remembrance. Waterloo, New York is considered the birthplace of Memorial Day. Again, remember today is the final day to complete the Funathon survey. Your input matters in decision making. The survey from Wednesday asked if you prefer headphones or earbuds, and earbuds were a clear winner. 
Also, make sure to check out the daily survey on our Google Classroom. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Owen B, Dominic C, Elijah I, Dylan S, and staff members Mrs. Bryan and Mrs. Cydris, who will celebrate today. Also, happy birthday to Lily M, Benjamin N, Ty T, Alexander F, Agam L, Aiden L, Isla. Isla S, Sylvia D, Austin L, Rachel W, Philip C, and staff member Mrs. Bonham, who will all celebrate during the three-day weekend. We hope you all have a wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. And happy uh, Red, White, and Blue Day in remembrance of Memorial Day, which is happening this weekend, and we'll get into that a little bit later. It was nice to see all you guys in your red, white, and blue. All right, as mentioned earlier in this episode, remember that yearbooks will be distributed to all students on Thursday, June 2nd. And if you missed the opportunity to purchase this one this year, you're lucky. There are few extra yearbooks this year, all right? This doesn't normally happen, so I'd get on this right away. They are $40, cash or check, written to Sycamore Junior High, and can be purchased from Mrs. Spielman in room 246 until June 3rd, all right? So there are a few extra ones. Bring that cash or check for $40, all right? Again, remember to check your school email. Hey, even during the summer, I would check it because they're going to be sending you updates and things like that. So I would check that every day, even over the summer. Overdue library books, get those in, all right? Get those in. Those need to be returned to the Media Center. Um, if you want to go to the 7th grade movie day or the 8th grade day, those overdue library books have to be returned. All right, now, the most important thing is uh, uh, this special weekend, we'd like to remember those uh, who lost their lives serving our wonderful country. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a day that has been established for all Americans to honor our military personnel who have given their lives serving in wars fought by the United States. By order of the President of the United States, Memorial Day is a federal holiday that is, is observed on the last Monday in May. On this day, people all over the world visit cemeteries to honor members of the United States Armed Forces who have given their lives in defense of our country and in some cases their countries as well. Veteran cemeteries will be adorned in fields of red, white, and blue by flags placed on the graves of our honored dead. At the end of the day, taps will be played, and for most of us, life will continue until the next Memorial Day. Often Memorial Day is just seen as a day when schools and banks are closed, and we, the beneficiaries of the freedom that those soldiers died to preserve, forget to honor them. Let us not forget to honor the over one million soldiers who have died defending freedom for all Americans. Memorial Day is not just a day for picnics and parades, rather it is a day to remember those who keep the flame of freedom burning bright for all of us. They are the brave that make this the land of the free. Please remember that today and every day. Have a great Memorial Day, have a great weekend, we'll see you on Tuesday. What's for lunch today? For lunch we'll have a mashed potato bowl, we will also serve hamburgers and cheeseburgers. I don't know about you, Savannah, but I will definitely be using this extra long weekend to prepare for summer. Yeah, along with honoring our fallen soldiers on Monday, I'm going to be catching up on sleep and getting into the summer mood. Now for the joke of the day. What kind of streets do ghosts haunt? I don't know what. Dead ends. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Go Aves! Aves!